Girls, Mrs. Freeland here. Uh, today, we're going to like build on what we worked on yesterday. Remember yesterday, we worked on um, making some detailed drawings. We talked about how we can carefully draw someone we know that we're going to write about. And we're going to add a lot of details and really think about how they look. Um, picture them, how they look and then talk about it and then sketch it. And remember this time we are taking time with our sketches and trying to be more exact and have more detail. Today we're gonna do that, but then we're gonna add on something fun I think you'll enjoy. We're going to label parts of that picture with words. And those words are gonna help us tell a story. Um, so I'm gonna show you, uh, remember I told you about this Barbie book that my girls loved when they were little. And we used to have to read this every night. They wanted to go through every page, pick out their favorite Barbie in every page, and look at boys and girls, look at all the pages. It took forever. Now, you don't do that to stay awake at night, do you? Read lots of books in bed? Maybe you do. Well, I found this page that is, this is an older book too. So this is Barbie's house. And what I was noticing is that in the pictures of the book, they added lots of words and pointed to things in Barbie's house. Like here they talked about her dishes and they gave the names of her dishes. Look here, they're talking about her bed, her wallpaper. Here, Barbie has an elevator. Would you like an elevator in your house, right? So what we're gonna do is similar to this, we're going to be drawing, but we're gonna add some labels to our drawing. So, of course, let's draw, I'm going to draw a Daisy Dog. So here's Daisy Dog at the beach. Now I'm going to add, draw her, and I'm going to add some labels to parts of her. So you're going to need some crayons and markers to your paper. Um, you can use a 3 by 5 card, or you can use your writing paper. So I'm going to draw a Daisy Dog, and sometimes when you draw animals, you could do circles too. So I'm gonna use a circle for her head, and then she kinda of has a circle nose, right? Put a nose on the end, give her some eyes. Her ears can kinda of be little circles coming down. Now I'm gonna draw her body, make a circle. Do her legs. Now does that look perfect? No, but I'm really thinking about Daisy, right? And picturing Daisy, thinking about it talking about it, right? We know her nose is black, right? She's got um, a lot of long fluffy hair. And if you saw the end of her, you would see that she has a big fluffy tail. So I'm gonna kind of draw her and make that long fluffy hair that, hair that kind of gets messy. It kind of drives me nuts, but I love her. So there's my sketch of Daisy Dog. I was thinking about all of those details. And she kind of has big ears too, but they're really cute. So now I'm going to add some words to my picture and I'm going to do a little bit bigger so you can see them. So I know Daisy that is a dog. Now I might not know how to spell all of the words that I want to add as labels. So boys and girls, that's why you need to keep your ABC chart handy with your letter sounds. And if I want to write dog for Daisy, because I know she's a dog, and I'm not sure how dog starts. I'm gonna make use my sound to go d d and find the d d makes the d sound like duck. Ah ah, that's a hard one. Ah o ostrich. Ah g g g. What makes the g sound? Oh, like guitar. G d o g. So boys and girls, that can be a good tool for you to use. So I'm gonna sound out the word, and I'm gonna label d. Og, what she is, right? And boys and girls, we're actually going to label parts of her body. So here is her head. It's an H. Ed. Right? And then her big fluffy tail. T. T. A. L. Right? And then here's her legs. O. O. F. G. S. Right, here's her nose. Right. 
So boys and girls, what you're gonna do today is make your sketch of, um, could be a person, could be a person doing something, could be a pet, and then you are going to label that. Now, if I were drawing a person, I might wanna label their ears, their hair, their arms, their legs, their body, their eyes, their nose, their mouth. There's lots of things you could label, right? So boys and girls, I think you're gonna have so much fun doing this today. Remember, if you don't know how to spell the words, you do your best, use your tools, use your sounds, like using your letter chart and do, do it the best you can. And I'm excited to see um, your pictures and all of your labels today. I hope you enjoy writing like this.